with your negatives that's the first thing to watch out for guys the second thing is that there's a negative in front of that squared bracket don't say this is h squared plus four because that is not the case and also don't forget that that negative changes every sign in that bracket. Don't just change the first one and then carry on and say it's 8H positive and 8 positive. When you guys get to this step, that is where you check yourself. Or you can actually start checking yourself at that step. Your constants are always going to say goodbye. And each term that is left must have an H in it to remove that H at the bottom. If once you've subtracted, there's another term, let's say with a 4, you've made a silly mistake somewhere. Go and look for that mistake before you continue. Okay, I've got my average gradient and now I can take my limit. Limit when h approaches naught of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h is nothing other than negative 7 because that h becomes zero. Now this is important. What does this answer tell you? Usually if you take the limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h, it gives you a gradient. Now that gradient can be anywhere on the curve. At our specific place, this gives me the gradient which is minus 7 at the point where x on this graph is 2. Now if I go back to the top, that comes to the second part of my question. Hence, find the equation of the tangent at this point. To find the equation of the tangent at that point, I need to know the gradient of the tangent. I've got the x value for the point. I am just short one more bit of information, and that is the y value. So I take my 2 back into my equation, x minus 2x squared. It goes in, I get my 2 minus 2 times that 4, and that gives me a minus 6. So I've got enough information for my tangent. I've got the y value of the same point where it touches, I've got the gradient. So immediately I can say y, be careful of your double negative, is equal to the gradient of the tangent x minus 2. All that's left is now to distribute. So y plus 6 is then minus 7x plus 14. Kick your 6 over, you get minus 7x plus 8. And there's the next four marks of this question. Okay, guys, first principles, that was a derivative at point 2, gave you the gradient. Once you've got the gradient, you just had to find the y value of the point of contact. Okay, it's been lovely spending this hour with you guys. Remember, you can phone us every night from five o'clock onwards 08600 627 and then a reminder for all the teachers and if you guys will tell your teachers about this as well on the website the web address www.call-er.co.za there's some wonderful educational resources specifically regarding the portfolio management so teachers please go to that website, I'm going to give you the web address again, www.call-er.co.za. We'll be back with you again tomorrow night. Goodbye.